Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Uh, I'm going to screen share again. Yo, we're in, we are in. Okay, hello everybody, we are here, we're late, stream we had a few problems, but here we are, we're into the first match of the weekend for Corsair's Close 2024, and it's already started, things have already kicked off as you can see here, on the, I'm assuming what is the first map of the match, and I'm joined here by none other than the wonderful Doomsday, how are you doing man? What up Mavs? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Hey, it's the first time I've casted Corsair's clothes. It's uh Yeah. It's, it's really cool to finally get on. So cheers for just letting me on. Yeah, I think this is this is going to be the first up. map, right? The first map, sorry. In the first uh map. I would assume so. I, I don't think those scores on the bottom are Yeah, there we go. Nice and cleared off. Yeah. So this was the first map here going into it. The Nomad 4, which I'm assuming is the pick from Worst Hard Rock Player, yeah. Um which is actually a map I was going to talk about uh, prior to the match, but obviously we didn't have time for that. Uh, map I thought Box might actually take off the table, but keeping it in and uh, I think losing right now. I can't actually see the score at the top. It has something else to say looking at the accuracies, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is, uh, in terms of the seeding, right, out of the 16 players you've got for Corsair's close, it's, uh, I believe it's seed 2 versus seed 15, this. Yeah. The target player being seed 2, box being seed 15, and this has got to be a, a foreign pick considering it's tech and this is what he feels like. 97% on it's kind of disgusting, first pick score v2, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Like, oh. We're starting player finding a little miss here at the end, yeah. You can see this map, it's very, very insanely difficult. Some of these stream patterns uh, in this map and a lot of these cut tight sections, extremely hard to hold combo, but Box actually does just that through to the ending. Worst hard to play though, I believe, probably winning, I suppose we're about to see. Can't quite see the scores at the top. There it is. Yeah. Well, that's actually but really a good score close, from though. Box. Yeah. Wow, okay. That was actually really close, though. <laughs> okay. It is a win for, for Worst Hard Rock Player, though. But you know what? I mean, going into this, right? Box, with his mechanics, he's going to be looking at that, that speed, looking at that Hard Rock. On this tech stuff, it's going to be a tougher one for him. But that bodes well, actually, for Box, going into the techie stuff in this pool. Yeah, I think it's a good sign for him early on. We're in an early pool, obviously, of the tournament. It's only the first round, round of 16, and these maps aren't going to be too difficult uh, for players to be able to play things that might not necessarily be in their best skill sets, necessarily. Um, so some of these techie-type maps, although Worst Art Hard Rock Player is going to be favoured, Box, he's still very, very comfortable on maps like this generally, probably until we start getting into the later rounds. So there's going to be opportunities for him to take break points on maps like that, as you can see early. Almost sliding in there, but just a little bit short as we get right into the next pick already from Secret Box. I believe this is... Which map even is this? I can't even tell at a glance. No more two, yeah. As yeah, we expected, I think, much. from Box. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got the background of the original like online Kami one for this, but this is like a sped up version. It's 211 BPM. Like Excel D cell streams basically. Yeah, no, no supposed to see Box go into this. Get that get that mechanics going. That's gonna be his best uh, best shot here, you'd think. Um, as well the bands as well, uh, which we didn't quite catch. I think No Mod 6 was the ban for Box, which is the yep. low AR no mod, right? And yep. uh, Absolutely. Yeah, they're followed up by the DT1 for worst hard rock player that that DT aim, so it all makes sense. It all checks out. Yeah, absolutely. It does make a lot of sense. I think there really was no other option for Box as a first band in this match than that No Mod 6. There's obviously the AR8 in that Hidden 2, but that Hidden 2 really isn't a reading map whatsoever. It's kind of just AR8 aim, so it makes sense to get rid of that ridiculously hard to read No Mod 6. <laughs> that map um, is disgusting, dude. Yeah. Even for like Corsair's oh, yeah. clothes, that map is crazy. Getting into some of the stream sections now as the map's finally going to start to pick up that one-third section. So 
we're gonna start seeing this map sort of pick up. Both players still holding onto the FCs. The SS still from but I, 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 okay, man. There's no way I just, as I say SS, he drops the 100, but still holds combos, so accuracy is tied now. SSing in tournament is impossible, Mav, so you know, you know what? <laughs> yeah. We'll let you off that one, mate. Yeah, some of these stream patterns in this first Ki, obviously, gonna be a little bit awkward, but nothing I think either of these players isn't gonna, either of these players can't handle. I think it's gonna be the tapping stamina that's really gonna show who will come out on top here, but worst hard rock player still holding up on this tapping. Obviously, tapping one of his weakest skill sets, but it doesn't mean he can't play it, as evident Ooh. right here, but it's a bit of... Oh, he's running out of stamina! There it is! He finally starts to run out of juice. Worst hard rock player finding struggles in that little section after the Ki. And Box, of course, not going to falter. This guy doesn't run out of stamina, uh, unfortunately, for worst hard rock player. So, it's looking good for Box now. Yeah, that was looking like, really competitive. But yeah, that long stream just, just took it out of far and he just fell off the train there. Straight onto the tracks. But yeah, Box having no problems at all. Final Kiyo now is sort of the hardest aim patterns, but at this point, Farman got a lot to combat this. Another break surely seals it for Boxer, right? Yeah, you would think so, but I think the real actual aim of this map really comes in at this ending. You can see some of the some of the angles, some of the space patterns on these streams start to get really hard. But you would you would think it's already more than sealed from Box. There's obviously a chance of a chain miss, but there's way too much score for it to matter. Can he close it out? I would be damn impressed if he could, because the ending of this map is no joke. And he's still have seen, <laughs> man! <No. laughs> I think there's still more after this, though. I think there's it still is. one or two more streams. Yeah, at least. Not over yet. Oh, can he get through this ending? Worst hard rock player can't even hit a single note, but secret box! 99.5 still going into the ending! Oh, oh no, no, there it is! Probably the hardest stream pattern of the map there finds the chain miss F indeed, but pulls through the near FC. Very, very good score, and that will that'll be one of the top scores of the weekend, I think. I'll be very impressed to see an FC on that. Yeah, it's near eight stars and with the XL D cell control as well, but not a problem here for Box on his first pick. Brilliant first pick, and it was pretty close though for the first half, right? But once you got into those spicier patterns in the second half of this one, though, uh, the golfing comfort really showed, no doubt. Yeah, comfort shining through for box. I mean, this guy, he's always been a very feared stream player, you know. Hard Rock FC on Painters, Hard Rock FC on Epitaph. This guy, he, he's a freak man on the stream, so you got to watch out for him. One of the more competitive players on really any stream map in this tournament, period. But, uh, you know, I'm looking at maybe that Nomad 5 for the next pick for him. It's got to be that Nomad 5 for the, the next box pick. But we're going to have to see what worst Hard Rock player opts to pick here first before we get into that. What do you think in Dooms? Oh, what, for, for Farum? Well, it looks yeah. like it's, it's, certainly for Farum, I think it's already in, and it's going to be the low AR hidden. There um, it is. And, yeah, you mentioned this is more on the side of, like, low AR hidden aim, and it is, but it's definitely got a good chunk of reading and, you know, control in it as well, so it's still going to be favoured for Farum, but certainly nowhere near as big of a landslide as that number 6 would be. It'd be a massive steal if you dropped it, though, but a tough pick for Box, you'd think this. Yeah, still a tough pick for Box, but I think uh, a very capable AR8 hidden player, I would say Box. Um, especially when it comes to maps that aren't going to be extremely reading intensive. But as you can see, I think the comfort already kind of shining through for West Hard Rock player quite a bit more early on with a, a few a few misses from Box. But give him some time to, you know, maybe adjust to the AR. It always sometimes can catch you off guard mid-20 match. He just played an AR-10 map, you know? So maybe a little bit of time to settle in. Might start to fare a little bit better, but it might be too late if uh, Worst Hard Rock player could just continue to hold the combo anyway. Yeah, this is a combo game, it seems. And the accuracy looking pretty decent for Box, but Farum's locked in, man. Yeah. That snap. Strong snap there from Farum on these linear aim patterns. He oh does get the miss, so... God. Yeah, I mean, this map just looks ridiculously brutal on some of this AR8 aim. Like, Box having an extremely hard time, but keep in mind, like, he was number eight. 
overall uh, out of the qualifiers here for the Hidden 2, which was AR8 in the qualifiers. So, you know, he's a capable AR8 player. Absolutely. Worst hardware player finding a miss on this as well will just go to show you, I guess, how difficult the AR8 here uh, is here. Yeah, there's not a massive amount in it, but that's really all we knew, especially when Farm was like top score on this last week in the qualifier, or similar spot yeah. anyway. So it's just a case of just bumping into someone who is kind of cracked at this sort of thing. He ain't getting yeah. miles away though. He's not getting too far away for him. But uh, he's going to need to find some struggles soon, otherwise it's going to be tough luck to come back. Yeah, we're starting to play that number one overall in the qualifiers, so definitely to be feared on uh, any sort of low AR skill set, no matter what it is. And he's looking decently favored on this, but like you said, it's not uh, not way out of the way of, of box here, but probably starting to get a little too late for it to really matter in terms of a comeback, and yeah, especially with that miss. Worst hard rock player, more than likely going to be sealing this one off, but it wasn't uh, as convincing as uh, maybe some would expect, but still a pretty great score from worst hard rock player with how difficult this map actually looks. Some of these linears, man, like being able to snap linears like this is just an entire <laughs> skill in itself. Like, you, you're just, you got to be a freak to snap linears like this on air, right? Yeah, that pattern right there, that pattern right <laughs> yeah. there is really bloody hard, man. I think if yeah, Farm's only got more comfortable as this has gone on as well, he's adjusted and now he's just completely locked box out. Yeah, this is Yeah, this this is what you'd expect from Farm on, on this sort of thing. Absolute monster when it comes to this. 700 combo, nearly 99% as well. That's yeah, crazy. So man. comfortable. Just watching his cursor shake. Did he just curse the dance? Did he just curse the dance? I think he just cursed I think he just cursed the dance on that ending. There's no way that was a misread. <laughs> it's just funny watching him shake like all over the place when he hits everything as well. And he's just hitting some of the hardest like patterns just shaking and it, it's just crazy to watch, man. Almost a 99% with a bit of style in the ending what looked like to, <laughs> to be a cursed dance from him. But yeah, I mean, eight misses. That was an absurd cursor dance. On, like, on yeah. screen jumps. He cursed that screen jumps AR8 and still hit them. <laughs> Dude's just flexing at this ludicrous. point, man. Completely ludicrous stuff from West Hard Rock player, but to be expected, I think two of his strongest picks in this pool, um, aside from that Nomad 6, of course, which is already banned, are uh, going to be gone, going to be out of the way, which, of course, it makes sense with this format, right? We're going to have another ban coming in from both players after the first four maps are played, so it, would, it wouldn't make sense not to pick your two best maps first. So get them done, get them out of the way. There they are for West Hard Rock player, and here we're expecting, of course, the Nomad 5 from Box, and there it is. Yeah, breaking out more of that speed. Well, I guess more maybe on the stamina side of things at 240, and this map being quite long as well. And we did see on that, that Nomad 2, uh, you know, as the map went on, the stamina started to choke a bit for uh, West Hard Rock player, so it should be another nice one for Box to work with here, no doubt. Yeah, and I actually think, at least this map specifically, when I was having a look at it, this one looks far worse on the stamina than even that No Mod 2. And of course, being at 240 BPM, you gotta imagine, I think this is one of Fox's best picks against Worst Hard Rock Player in the pool. But uh, I would love to see him prove me wrong, and just for some reason, he can just play it extremely well. I would be, <laughs> I would be gobsmacked <laughs> if he shredded this map. But uh, early on, Fox couple struggles in the intro, hopefully he can start to steady things up moving into the map. Hey Mavs though, did you know that worst hard rock player got a better score on Ascension to Heaven DT than the Collie Bed in tournament, so clearly DT yeah. DPM is good fine for him, Mavs. Did I know? <laughs> clearly that means he's a better speed player than a Kali Bed, right? Yeah. Surely that's how that works. Um, but I imagine some of these streams here, they're actually double tappable. And I wouldn't be surprised to see West Hard Hardware players start to double tap some of these longer streams. See, all of these are double tappable. We can see the hundreds and fifties dropping from him, but he's holding combo. The double taps come in. There yeah. they are. He still holds on the combo though. And that's what matters. Box taking the score advantage with a huge accuracy lead. But if Box breaks soon and West Hardware player can keep holding combo, there is a possibility. What? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> if 
been challenged here, box. I mean, yeah, the last one was a bit tongue-in-cheek, but Forum is capable, and his double tap is terrifying. He's so, so, so consistent on it, if he needs to break it out on these bursts. He's definitely a threat on this if Box uh, finds a miss here somewhere. Is that act won't mean too much if he misses here. Yeah, missing in this section would be worst of all as well. But don't quite recall how spaced the streams do get it towards the ending of this map, so not sure if the ending is double tappable or not. You hope for Box's sake that it isn't. But we're going to find out very soon. No one missing in this aim section as of yet. Just got to be the worst section to miss in right here. Both players get through it scot-free, and here we go. So we start to approach the final boss. Oh, box with the miss, though. Yeah. Oh, so... no! There he goes! On the taps, too. That's brutal. But, yeah, the ending's coming up. Can Farron make something happen here? He hits that stream, though. Oh, oh my god, he's box. doing it. There he goes, so he breaks. Box holding on to way better accuracy. If we get some more death streams in here this in this ending, we might see a huge score tank from West Hydro player. But he's managing to hit all of them so far. Finds another drop. Box holding onto the combo, holding onto the accuracy. West Hydro player with a 97% is so impressive. He needs to find more chain misses. There's one. It's a 60k difference. He's finding more 100s, but no, it's not enough for a secret box. West Hydro player. <laughs> it's a break point on the no one five. Clearly the better speed player. Well, yeah, I mean, 1.2k combo on that is no <laughs> joke. I mean, yeah, a, a little bit of tactical double tapping, but he actually hit a lot of that ending clean. Two miss. He did. That's a solid score from Faro, man. It's brutal on box with his ack, just the one miss. But ultimately, though, you got to hand it to Faro to try to pull something through there. That's a huge steal. Yeah, and I mean, this is why he banned DT1 instead of this map, I guess. There it is. You, you gotta, gotta feel for Box, a very unfortunate miss in that section before the ending. Definitely costing him the point, but is how it goes sometimes. And worst outdoor player, he was well practiced on that. He knew what he had to double tap, and he did it successfully in match. And that's all it takes sometimes. <laughs> it's a 600k, which is a score that is going to beat a lot of scores on a map like this. So... Yeah. You know, it's all he needed at the end of the day was the combo. And no, he didn't even have bad accuracy, man. He had like 97. Yeah, 97 is solid for that. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it's really good. Right, it's it's band time then, so both players are going to get another ban. And, well, obviously the strongest maps are out the way, but with Forum stealing one back, it's uh, going to be a bit of an uphill battle for Box now going into the second half of this. We'll see what he's got up his sleeve, though. Well, there, there we go. Now we can see the, the, the bits and bobs. Yeah, no, the number six, DT1, bands in the first set. I'm assuming they're the wrong way around, though, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <We're> assuming. <laughs> well, Sardar Player did not ban the Nomad 6. <laughs> Wake me up. That's, uh, <laughs> that would never be real. But yeah, we will be getting the second set of bands here shortly. and. I'm not too sure what to expect um, from Box. I'm thinking probably for worse Hard Rock player, it's it's just probably the DT2. Um, but not too certain what he is going to go for. It is DT2, yeah. It looks like it's going to be the DT2 ban for, for Forum, so you called that one. And it makes sense. You just get, get, get rid of all that speed. And then you hit the oh, three, three from uh, from box. Yeah, I think. I mean, after losing the no mod four, not by much, but uh, losing the no mod four, probably just feeling less comfortable on this hidden three, decides to take it out. Which is fair. It's definitely worst hard rock players sort of playground a map like that as well. So be taking that one out of the pool. I think it was probably uh, box's best choice of a ban with what's remaining. I can imagine he's probably like fairly decent on that as well with it being quite flow yeah. aimy but i guess it's just it's playing into forum right you, you, you don't want to give him that and then the d it's a dt2 band for forum not the dt3 uh so yeah dt2 has gone which is the toho year of beat what are you gonna do this to me dude i'm sure we'll see that this yeah. week though but make me wait but okay yeah
going to be the Hard Rock 3 pick here from West Hard Rock player going into things. Something that uh, I think Secret Brox is also going to be fairly capable of playing. Very strong in his Hard Rock. But this one, very sort of strange rhythms. I think probably something you would describe as sort of like a swing rhythm. Not too knowledgeable on my uh, music, but plays like a swing type map anyway. And it's got a lot of doubles in here and a lot of funny aim control and some reading. If you're not comfortable reading a hard rock with like every sort of pattern in the game, then you might find some mysteries here and there on a few of these overlaps. Yeah, you, you, you bang on. Yeah, I'd call this swing as well. It just doubles, yeah. doubles swinging the entire map. It pretty much doesn't change too much. It's quite a bit of one third and like one six stuff in it as well, like first and things like that. So yeah, you got to be super proficient on on like hard rock control really to do that well on this. Yeah, and as we can see early on, West Hard Rock player is very good on Hard Rock Control, actually assessing the intro of this map, which, I mean, that's still really hard. Does find a break, right as I say it. I'm just cursing people left and right today, but there goes Box trading it back in this first BI, and you can see some of these patterns already pretty brutal in the finger control. One third's coming in, as you mentioned, but both players hitting them. That axe gonna be nice and juicy for farm at the moment that 99 percent oh Not holding through a lot of the ack as well though on that part i think a lot of the ack drops i think in the first bit held through pretty well on the doubles pretty solid stuff from both players there actually yeah i mean this accuracy from box is good like that's a good accuracy on a map like this with hard rock but it's worse hard rock player man 99 percent on a map like this over halfway through the sheer consistency from this guy on anything that is slightly unconventional. He can just play it and he can just 99% it. Hard part bat to come in now though. Both players with big combos, so it's volatile here. Who's the first to drop? It's gonna be box. Ooh. It's going to be box. Farm's still going with his 99%. There's the oh. break from him, but it's another little advantage he's gained there. Yeah, this slider section, brutal to hold combo through. Some of those snap doubles that start becoming cut patterns. It's like definitely some very, very difficult sections here in this slider part. But they both get through sort of the, the latter half of it. West Hard Rock player coming out with the bigger combo and with over, uh, well, about a 100k score advantage. Pretty much a sliver of the map remaining. It's not going to be enough for Box to steal back a break point. But a valiant effort from him. Only 100k tailing. It was relatively close, but it's a case of this is such a foreign map and that is a foreign score. 99% for so much of that. Score V2 is just disgusting behavior. That's a crazy play from Forum. It's the slider break. It's this, yeah, just the, the slider break from him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And the two miss as well for Box. Not a bad performance from Box either. And also an incredible accuracy also from Box. But you're just going up against one of the best in the world on a skill set like this. So it's going to be a tall task to ever take a break point away from him. And he does go ahead and take it. Four to one now. Secret Box to pick and... If you're praying for a close match, he's got to get something here. He's got to get this point. What can he leverage? What can he use? What, what, what would fit him? Well, we have... Well, the only map left in DT is the DT3, which is control, and it's low BPM, yeah. high AR control. Not sure about that one, personally, Chief. Yeah, I mean, it's something that box i'm sure will do pretty well on and can play but do you pick that into a hard rock player no i don't think so Brave i really don't that. think so yeah so i mean we could start to uh pivot maybe towards some of those raw mechanics something that uh box is comfortable with but it doesn't mean it's not going to be a a tall hill to climb a steep hill to climb rather for box on on really any pick that's left in this pool i think he's gonna have a hard time but Pick it to that comfort. Maybe those uh, raw mechanics is a good place to start. We'll see what he's going to opt for.
yeah, I think the hidden one might be pretty decent. That Demitorium map, that's like 220 BPM mechanics, quite streamy as well in yeah. the second half. Might not be a bad shout, but it looks like it's going to be going towards uh, no, uh, the Nomad 3. Oh, so that's some okay. Xerius ults. Okay, that's a that's a a brave. Pick. Yeah, that's I like brave. <laughs> that is brave. I think when I was looking through the pool, I did definitely think of this as a as a West HR player map. Um, but again, I keep saying this: Box is probably good on this too. I mean, yeah. he's picked it. He definitely is. Box is good on stuff like this, but. Man, you know who worst HR player is going to be really good on this. And dare I say, this looked like one of the hardest maps in the pool um, when I was looking through the maps. I don't know how far off the mark I am on this. These uh, these maps are starting to get a bit out of my range. Over the past couple of years, these tournaments are just getting ridiculous with how hard the maps are. Every map is the hardest map in the pool. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, this map does have a lot of like sharp angle aim. It's almost like high BPM aim during a lot of these these sections which appear throughout. We have these massive linear hexagon patterns. Yeah. They just jump scare you. I wonder how they'll deal with that. And that's what I'm looking for, right? I mean that that those big hexagons happen maybe five or six times throughout this map, so it's consistently difficult. And there's the first one. Box actually missing right before it and then hitting the hexagon, but Still drops the combo, West HR player holds on comfortably and now with a bit of free combo. It's not what Box wants to get started in this map, but we've got a lot of map left. It's pretty long and we've got a lot more difficult sections coming up. A lot more of those hexagons as I mentioned. There's another one. Yeah, the next big PI now as well with that sharp angle aim. Forum still have seeing though, so at the moment it's out of Box's hands. Forum is just putting in the show as he, as he always does. Not many problems with these linears. Another one coming up in a sec. Yeah, Box starting to build a recovery. And there's that really difficult linear jump section. And there goes West HR player on the hexagon. That was one of the hardest sections in the map there. That linear jump section is brutal, but both players hit it. And then we see a miss from West HR player on that hexagon. Chance for Secret Box, 50k deficit, but he's got the accuracy advantage and he has the combo. Chance presents itself finally for Box here. Gonna hit another one of those linears though. Gets it's through it. One. 30k now and closing in. An opportunity here, but it's another hard section he's got to make use of. Oh man, you start seeing these sharp angles. These almost square jumps in at this BPM is just ridiculously hard to snap. But both players getting through it. Box needing to hold on another one of those linear jump sections. Both players hit that. Unbelievable stuff from both of them. But it's a 15k advantage now for Box. And he can't let up. He's got a 900 com combo, but he can't get comfortable. He has to keep going because the slightest slip up and West HR player is going to take that score lead right back. This is a long map. We're, we're only it really is. in the final third. There's still so much to go. So it's still anyone's game with Forum rocking that five in a combo. F seeing that section. He's going to be breathing down Box's neck if he Ooh. finds a choke here. Those anti-aim linears are always terrifying. And there it is, exactly as I was saying it. Box finds a miss on them. Where's out of a player holding on the 700 combo. There's a 30k lead for Box. He's got a little bit of wiggle room, but West Hydro player needs to find a break very soon here. 20k. Oh, this is going to be really close in the ending here, Dooms. We're going to have to, uh, yeah, hope for a miss for West HR player if you want Box to, uh, <laughs> Bring it back, own yo! <laughs> Colon three. <laughs> oh, dude, Forum might actually take the lead before the next hard part. There's a few sliders coming up. They might be really close. I mean, I would say something about nerves and pressure, but we're talking about Forum here, so he's probably okay. Yeah. I mean, he's <laughs> up 4 1. He's up 4 1. It's not even his pick, you know. Is there really any pressure for him? Probably not, but oh, he, he does go ahead time. and take the lead. If he finds the miss here soon, Box will still have combo to claw things back, but he's going to need to find it in like the next 50 combo. 
if that, not even. There's a sliver of the map remaining, and he still hasn't missed. I think that's probably enough here. 30k lead for SHR player. It's already, I think, going to be sealed. It was so close for Box, man. So close on quite a few of these maps now. Less than 100k diff on, I think, three maps now for Box. So he's, he's there. He's been there. He's been on the tail, but just not quite enough every time. Loses this one by 50k. Yeah, that's another brutal one. It's the combo game. That's slightly better act. Joint miscount. I think a couple of slider breaks in there. But uh, yes, another really close one. Goes the way of Forum. This scoreline has not been reflective of this match at all. Um, but in these sorts of matches, it's that little bit that makes the difference, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a world where, you know, we absolutely could be seeing like a 3-3 scoreline right here with, you know, how decently close a few of these maps have been. But... You know, Sue, one miss is all it takes. And uh, it's now going to be a match point for OSHR player with the pick to back things up. And it's going to be Madargo Queen B, the Hard Rock 2. This is a classic map, Dooms. Yeah, classic, like, small CS, like, flow aim map on Hard Rock. So it's CS 6.5, flow aim control. Flow aim's good for box, but... Control is even better for Forum. This is definitely a Forum map, no doubt. But it could be one that's competitive given the uh, the diff settings. And it's also not massively long. It's a bit of a volatile one, this. Yeah. Kind of just constant 153 BPM streams, which is an incredibly low BPM for stream maps. But it's, of course, supplemented with um you know spaced sections high uh, small circle size and a couple funnier patterns in there just to mix things up just to spice them up just a little bit but yeah this is a classic i mean i'm sure everyone's probably heard this song if you've played ozu i guess i say this is uh only the first round i I don't know if it's off my head if this is double elimination, so I'm not gonna lie, but um one point away Farum is from taking the first win of, of course they closed this year on his own pick, but it's not signed and sealed at all on hard rock against Fox. Yeah, it is double elim, so Fox will it not is, be out yeah. of the tournament here if he does fall to the hands of West HR player, which it's looking like might be the case so far in this match, but there's always a chance to bring things back. There's a chance to bring things back from zero, let alone from uh, from one point. You know, just needs four in a row. Surely it can't be that hard, right? But uh, here we go in, in Madogo. Yeah, only four maps, man. Come I mean, on, it all dude. starts here. It's only three once he wins this one. Yeah. So, and three is not that many. That's all good. But both players holding the FC in Madogo Queen B so far. We're about to get into the real meat and potatoes of this one now, though. Here come the streams. Yeah. Double FC still. Yeah, an immense comfort from both players on this. As you expect, I think, from a secret box on something like this. Of course, you expect it from a SHR player, but secret box, this is what he's known for. This is what he became, you know, popular for in the Osu community was being a ridiculously good stream player, and he's showing that right here, but so is West HR player with that FC to boot. It's just a slight act lead for Secret Box. Anyone's game so far into the second half of this map. Yeah, I got these two players just making this map look easy. This is nothing of the sort. The final part here, more hard streams coming up. After these kick sliders here, Fresh has got to be on box now, though, to try and lock this out because he knows there's another FC on the other side of the room. And he's had so many chances to take points from West HR player, and he's just fallen short many times. It's going to be his opportunity oh, here. No, no, he finds a slider break on, like, just almost nothing. Oh, this is heartbreak. Heartbreak for Secret Box. Every time he has a chance towards the ending of the map, finds the miss. And both of these players were just going crazy on this too. 
so unfortunate to see for Box. It's probably GG, but... I mean, there is a chance if we see OSHR player find a break very soon in the starting section of these streams. And he's shaking, but I mean, this is what he does, right? He shakes and he hits everything somehow. Some way, somehow, he'll manage to hit everything, even when shaking just so much. Look at his cursor, man. He's just still going. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, Finally finds a break, but... He's no longer going, but he was going for a long time there. He's the only FC on the actual leaderboard, but AODK, none of the count this in tournament is just not okay. So much of that ending hit as well. And, uh, yeah. yeah, man, he's just showing his prowess on so many skill sets that maybe we would have figured he'd have trouble with in a matchup like this. Even on the speed, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Box. And on the control stuff, he just had that little bit. Even if it was quite close, this is definitely not a 6-1 match. But Farum is one of the kings of the tournament scene. And he's going through 6-1 in his first match in Corsair's close. Yeah, I mean, a disgusting performance from West HR player in that match. You know, dare I say, that's a map where, like, Secret Box probably would win that in most matchups. So 700k on that is just unbelievable but uh yeah i mean he does take the l unfortunately west west outer player too good too strong man that number two seed coming out of qualifiers only falling to malashevsky in the qualifiers you know you, you got to be scared you got to be ready to go up against someone like this guy and he shows why he's number two seed as he uh comfortably gets a 6-1 victory over secret box and that's going to be our first match of the uh Corsair's we'll close 2024, and I believe our next match, Dooms, is going to be in it's an hour and 20 minutes, I think. Uh, yeah, it is. I believe it is going to be uh, Flying Tuna going up against Nineric at a, a 13 UTC. That's the next game coming up today. So not too long. You've just got a little bit. A little bit of patience. So we'll get bring more Corsairs close to you. Um, a solid first match to kick off this tourney, though. Even, even though it was 6-1, definitely a lot closer than that. Uh, a secret box. He's going up against the loser of Emrek and Takito in the losers bracket next week. So, and I think on that base, on the back of that performance, I think he has a chance against whoever he might face in that one. I think he's he's got a little run in him. I think if he keeps up that level of performance. Yeah, de definitely. Like, although scoreline wise, it looks like a sweep. Absolutely, the maps were far closer than that. I think at least four of those maps were within like a hundred k. Or, or less so a pretty close match and a pretty damn good performance from box but yeah just too good from worst harder player but that is going to do it for myself mavs and uh dooms so thank you for casting alongside me here dooms and in an hour and 20 minutes now we're gonna we're gonna be seeing flying tuna versus Nineric, as you said so make sure you guys come back around for that match won't be too long and uh take care everyone